Boys and girls, I want to show you how to do this activity if you're home and you need some more guidance. So what we are doing today is we are learning how tiles can be used to create an array inside of a rectangle like we talked about before. And this array that is created inside of our rectangle is going to also help us understand what the area of the rectangle is. So the squares that you're gonna to use today are draggable. So I want you to use these tiles and I want you to fill in the rectangle. And you're gonna use them until you have filled in the entire rectangle. And you'll notice if it looks like they're not quite fitting, I might have to make sure they're right up against each other. Okay, so I'm going to fill in, it's not perfect but it's almost perfect. So I have filled in this rectangle. I've created an array and I can look to see that I have two rows, which means I can put a two in this blank. And then if I look at how many are in my rows or how many columns I have, one, two, three, four, or there are four in my rows, that's going to be the dimension on this side of my rectangle. And then what I do for the final step is if I count my rectangles, I have eight. That is how many square inches this rectangle is in the measurement of area. So we are going to practice this with a few more slides. You're going to move the rectangles into the, the move the squares into the rectangle label the two sides and then count how many squares are in there to know the area of this rectangle. 